Sorry. <laughs> you don't joke. <laughs> no te lo tapas. Para cantar la garganta para esto. Uh, Alright, you ready? Cheers. Oh. Yeah. Did you spill the whole thing? <laughs> Maybe laughing. <laughs> I know you're gonna get like the little. Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, little, Everybody's yeah, good. Are we good? We're set. <laughs> Shit, we're back. This is another fucking episode that is filmed very late and it's past our bedtime. But it is. We got a special person that I didn't even think would be here from Pasadena. I don't even know her name anymore, but. <laughs> Who are you for people? It was such a great start. It was. <laughs> I don't know her name though. But she's here. <laughs> but her name is Jackie. Jackie. Jaquez. Jaquez. She's here. Yeah. Follow me on Cash App, Jackie Jaquez. <laughs> Donate. <With two> Z's. <laughs> don't be stingy. Don't <laughs> Everybody got a stimmy. Don't be yeah, stingy. Man. Your bucks a person. Yeah. Don't be mad. But, Damn. Okay. And. So, I'm going to put it out there. We just talked about it, but I got you here by literally shooting my shot to try to get you here. That's because right. Because you are TikTok famous. For shooting my shot. For shooting your shot. So, is it ironic? I don't think so. Is it a coincidence? I don't ah, think so. I think I inspired you. Yes. Yeah. Shooting your shot. Yeah. Because literally shooting your shot got you famous. Exactly. Shooting my shot got, got you here. Yeah. And we're here. And it's crazy because you're literally like a couple towns over. Yeah, we live so close. Yet so far away. Oh. I mean, only like 20 minutes, you know. It's literally like a 20 minute drive. With my Prius. Ooh, she, I can go she, anywhere. She cares about the, the economy. Bucks. She cares about the world. <laughs> I do. I do. I really do, though. Damn. I really do. All right. Yeah. Talk, let's talk about it. Okay. TikTok famous. I am. How Somewhat. long has that been? Somewhat. So it started in October. Ooh. Um, so how it happened is like, I, you know, I was, you know, I started my TikTok. My little sister was the one who told me about TikTok and I was like, ah, I'm not going to get on that. I'm not going to get into that. Yeah. It's a, it's a freaking Gen Z shit, you know? <laughs> and then all of a sudden she was like, she's like, just make one. And I was like, okay. And I made one and like, I started posting like TikToks, but like it got like, you know, like, like anyone would like a couple hundred views a uh, video. Right That's me right now. Yeah. You know, sure. like just nothing. Right. And yeah. then all of us, I was scrolling through TikTok. And then I see this fine ass dude, this fine ass TikToker that had like a million likes. And I was like, ooh, he's hot. <laughs> and so I clicked on his freaking profile. And then I was like, ooh, he's from LA. Oh no, he's from California. Usually, like anyone that like, I click on fucking TikTok, they're always from fucking the East Side or some, like, somewhere, somewhere like, somewhere far as fuck, right? Yeah. Like, somewhere out of reach. He's from fucking San Diego or whatever. And so I was like, oh, okay, not that far. And so I click on his profile and then I, I follow him. He didn't follow me back at first, though. Ooh. And so I was like, all right, it's fine. It's cool. He's famous. I get it. Whatever. And then I slid in the motherfucking DMs. I shot my shot. Shit happened. He was like, come see me. And I was like, say less, whatever. Literally on my way to like there, I was thinking, I was like, wait, I just like did something here like i sh i was nobody yeah. i shot my shot with this famous tiktoker and, and i'm on my way to go see him and so i was literally recording myself like on my way and i was like yo this is what happened like shoot your shot bitches like i swear to god it works like it works and that's literally and how it came up like on the what is it the for you part yeah it came out and i was like damn fucking cheese she oh, so, so i that. came out here for your page for you page it came out on the For You page. I yeah. was like, this is... Okay, follow, boom. And it stayed oh, on you there. you follow me? Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know we're nobody. Man. I know, dude. I don't even, I don't even know this we're, guy. We're done with the episode. We're gone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's how I... So I followed that, right? And then we got into... Uh, you had your IG linked. We went on IG. Yeah. And then a um, couple posts. And I seen you post... The Foothill Gym, which is not that far. And I yeah. was like, what? How you just said about that guy? I was like, and she has followers. She has this. She's down the street. Yeah. I was like, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. So I was like, all right. And time went by. And then we started this. And we got into like the women's edition. I was like, we need some powerful woman to come here and to have a story. And we have 
and now you're here. <gasps> you calling me a powerful woman? Yeah. I, I, I say that because I feel like because people follow you and you have all like you have your audience and your followers. Yeah. Why did they get into with you? Why did they follow you so much? And why have they stayed following you? But I always like getting into like what is what is behind the social media? Yeah. Who are you yeah. outside of social media? So what were you doing before you blew up? So okay, so I did get famous for like shooting my shot, but then afterwards, like I said my story as to like what happened, like later, whatever. But honestly, I think people stuck with me because like I was always like very real, very authentic. Like I yeah. never like try to like put up a persona to like be famous like i was real from the get-go and people like were ride or dies like from the get-go and stuff and so they started following me yeah dude and then they started following me on instagram and instagram is like where i'm like more active and like i post like like all day every day and people are like people legit tell me every single day like this is the most priceless thing ever like they're like i don't know what it is about you but like you honestly like make my days or there was like times where like people were like um, you don't know me, but um, and I hope you see this message. But like, you really brighten up my days. Yeah, dude. I and I and people are always telling me at the end, like, you probably won't read this. And I'm like, but I read like yeah. all of them, like all of them. Do you get like spammed with like? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Messages? I do, I do. Yeah, but I try to get to people that are like, they actually like ask me things. Like I try to get to them. If yeah. the people are like being weird, obviously I'm not gonna reply, right? <laughs> but on like, I didn't know how many people I was reaching. Yeah until like yeah like it has been so amazing the amount of love and support that i have been getting just for being me just for being me and people are like you i don't even know what it is but like you brighten my my days like and i'm like okay so i'm doing something right Mm -hmm. like and i gotta keep this ball like i gotta keep it going not because we're we're gonna put this episode out on social media but your energy is different. Yeah, like your energy yeah. is like we're mid fucking day. Like yeah. we're fucking ready to go. Yeah. But that's who you are. Yeah. So that's who you are before TikTok even came? You know what? Okay, so let's story about, yeah, story yeah, time. Story it. time. So I I definitely have not I'm not the same person I was maybe like a year ago. And yeah. how it happened, it was because of my ex. Ooh. So everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk Let me tell you a little something about her. She is Till this day, I swear to God, the best person I have ever met in my entire life. Yes. Like, she changed me for the better. So, I, coming from a Mexican traditional household, right, mm-hmm. and being the oldest, you have to put a, put a certain persona. Like, you, you are the oldest. You have to, you become a mom. Like, you have, yeah, yeah, responsibilities. Yeah. Like, vulnerability, feelings, they're, they're non-existent in a household. Like, right. depression, that's you're are you Mental crazy health? what the fuck is that That's, no like no. shake it off yeah. mapear. A mapear. <laughs> Llorando y mapeando. like they don't fucking understand that shit right so growing up yeah. like feelings like i had nothing like it was just unemotional and like it always fucked up me and like my relationships because i never showed emotions like it was really hard to like communicate like what i was feeling like if i was upset i would close myself in a room and cry in a room so no one would see me because vulnerability for me was a weakness right Mm -hmm. like no one could see me that i'm weak i'm strong 24 7 no matter what no matter what but then i met this girl right and she showed me unconditional love we were together for three years non-stop and i know i wasn't the best lover i know that i wasn't like affectionate yeah. It's always been a problem for me. I know that I wasn't emotional. I would never communicate like my feelings and stuff like that. I know I was hard to love, but she still would just be there, would be there, would be there. Like she would just love, love, Take no matter. I, I sometimes would be like a wall. Like I wouldn't give it up, but she would keep going and keep going and keep going. And at one point I was like, bro, like I see how much she loves me that like I want to become a better person for her. Yeah. Like, she inspires me to be that type of person. Like, I want to give that conditional love for her. Yeah. It didn't work out in the end, but she was the one that changed me. So, how was that transition? It was fucking rough. How was that transition? It was... Like, so, after that, like, I was the one that started seeking help. Yeah. Like, I know that there was nothing, like, like, like really wrong with me, 
but i knew that like okay there was something that like i need to work on like stuff mm-hmm. like that so yeah. me myself like i started seeking while we were still together i started seeking help i was like i need something like i need to talk to somebody like there's something going on like yeah. if she can show me that love and that means that love like that exists i can do that too yeah. and i don't know i don't know why i'm not doing that Jeez. and so i started seeking help and i went to a hypnotherapist i got hypnotized to have confidence no, I swear to motherfucking Jesus. I went two sessions and I I don't know if it's placebo. I don't know, but that shit fucking worked. It worked. It didn't work out in the end between her and her and I. Yeah. But I, I thank her till this day. She is the person that made me want to change. And I am the person who I am because of her. So can we what well, you just said right now, she was it hard? Can we talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was, his word come from a very it has to be one way and no matter that's it was that hard like that transition to I would say come out oh yeah oh yeah especially being the oldest being in a Mexican traditional like very traditional Mm -hmm. very traditional my parents excuse me I'm the first generation like my parents were like immigrants coming home I'm coming from US I'm to the US or whatever and they came from like a rancho like they don't know like it was only mexicans and it was only like like homosexuals were being like frowned upon like you know what i mean like everything else yeah and very religious very very religious so that was all like that's not god like that's not what god wants like that's not in the bible you know and so me and my sister were both gay okay Mm. are both gay whatever and my little sister, the one in the middle, she's the one that's always been, like, all about her parents. Like, she needs my parents' approval for everything. Like, she yeah. has always been the good child. Like, How many of you? It's three of us. Three of you. Yeah. Me, 25, uh, 21, and then the old, the youngest is 14. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, <clears throat> one day, my sister was like, you know what, Jackie? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my parents. And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, that's what you want. And I was already with my girlfriend for two years. And I was okay with not telling my parents because I was happy with living my secret life. No shit. Yeah, because I would have her over and like they didn't think anything because they loved her. They loved her. They absolutely adored her. But they did, they didn't think nothing of it. Right. I but I but honestly I think that they did. They just didn't want to believe it. They were being naive to it. They didn't like, want. To, I think they didn't it's want just to like accept that, it. Yeah, that that acceptance and yeah. that confrontation. Like, yeah. All right, you're like that. Yeah. Well, and it. it they didn't it's, want to believe it's it. Ugly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she got ugly, bro. She got ugly. So my sister was the one that was like that came out, and as soon as she came out, my mom was like, "Are you gay just because your sister's gay?" And then she was like, "What? What, what are you talking about? Like oh, pretending like shit. she didn't know, right?" Yeah. And me and my girlfriend were together for two years already. Yeah. And so that shit popped off. Like my mom was like, "My." My mom was, is very religious, traditional. Like, it was hard. It was hard for her. And honestly, I don't blame her. I don't blame her because that's just how, how they grew up. Yeah. Like, I was already going to... I already knew that that shit was coming. And, like, she said a lot of hurtful things and whatever. But at the end of the day, like, I didn't even take it personal because that's just how they were raised. And she's very religious. And she... Everything she depends on is her religion. And, so, like, you guys grew from that. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. Fuck. Yeah. And after that, we ended up... We... I honestly... I got closer to my parents after that. After they got over it. Yeah. I they, after that it took them a while. It took them yeah. a while, but they got over it, and we became closer ever since because they were like, no matter what, I want you guys to be happy, and I never want you guys to live like your lives behind closed doors. Like I want to be right. part of it, you know. And that oh, shit, shit was like, it took a while for my mom to get there, but my dad was always like, was whatever great. it is, whatever that, whoever that must it have is. Been like a relief though. Oh fuck yeah. Ooh. Fuck yeah, dude. Was, was this in high school or after high school? No, it was it was in college. I met her in college. It was Ooh. 2000. I met her in 2016. Mm. 2016, 2019. Dang. Yeah. So yeah. how, taking a little bit back, how was your life from high school? The transition from high school to uh, college? College. So I always knew that I liked girls. Since I was, like, in eighth grade, I remember I had, like, a crush on girls. But I always kept it a secret because I was, like, this isn't right. It was weird. Like, we're, how we just said, we're the same age. Yeah. Back then, as, you know, I'm not trying to sound fucked up, but it was just weird. Yeah, of course it was. No, yeah, that's why I kept it a secret because it was weird. Like, and I was, like, this isn't right. Maybe this is just a phase. I'm not going to say anything. Maybe it'll just go away, you know? Like, this is just maybe something wrong with me. That's what everybody thinks during that time. Right. If we grew up. If you grew up during that time, 
that is always a phase. Yeah. That is, oh, you're just experimenting. Right. You'll get over that shit no matter yeah. what. Yeah. And that's exactly what my mom told me. Because she was like, you dated men, though. I don't get it. Like, this is just a phase for you. And I was like, it's cool. Like, if that's what you think, like, it's cool. And she, till my sister is still with her girlfriend till this day. Mm-hmm. They're, like, more than three years. And my mom, I think, still thinks that it's still a phase. <laughs> She's still kind of hoping, you know, that it's still yeah. a phase. And yeah. I don't blame her. You know, that's just it, how it, they were How raised. you said traditional. Like, yeah, it's, it's very a- traditional. And it's hard for them to break out of that. Because that's just what they believe that that's what's good. That's what they yeah. were raised to believe that that's wrong and, like, what's good or whatever, right? But they're trying. They're yeah. trying, and that's all I can ask for. I think, you know? uh, and not the first interaction, but the first like relationship I had with someone that was openly gay was my manager from T-Mobile, uh-huh. and I say that because the relationship me and him had was like brother to brother, and I think she met him when he came pick up one of the Frenchies. She, uh, my girlfriend Brittany, uh, he came over with his boyfriend. And his attitude is just out there. Like, yeah. he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. He, he actually said, like, bro, when are you going to have me on there? Stop being... <laughs> and I was like, all right, like, relax. I got you. Don't worry about it. But it was just... I think for a lot of people, it they feel that... Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to say it. Like, they feel that embarrassment. Like, yeah. if I'm seen with the gay, I, they're going to think... It's like, nah, bro. Yeah. Like, they're people. <laughs> yeah. And- they're, they're people. Like, relax. Everybody has feelings. Everybody has different tastes and likes. Why put them out there like that? There's yeah. no need. And I think for a gay man, it's a lot harder. Mm. Because gay men are look more... Like, men... Like, with it's, it's so toxic when I hear, like, men are so weirded out by gay men. You know, because because gay women are sexualized, yeah. So they're more accepted. You know, yeah. like as and like yeah. that's why I don't tell a lot of like if I'm dating a man, I don't tell them that I've dated girls before until we're serious. Because one, they sexualize that shit right away. They're like, oh, so you want to do a threesome? Fuck no! I, I don't do this for you. Like I don't do this to like sexual. Like fuck no to turn you on. Yeah. I do it because me. Like that's what I wanted or whatever it is, whatever. But a gay man, it's so much different. Yeah. I feel like it's so much harder to be a gay man. And that sucks. Yeah. The, and I think that's why they just don't... They're not that open about it yet. It, it's... Man, would you say that's like society? Fuck yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I, and I, I keep saying it and I've said it throughout the podcast. And us that we've had, like the guests that we've had... It's just like, bro, the generation we're in right now is so different. Mm-hmm. One, some are sensitive. Some are too... Ah, it's just sensitive to whatever you say, whatever we say now. But it's like, like bro, it's reality. But it's fuck, no. Dating right now, it is the hardest thing to do. Speak on it because you got hardest. famous off of this. Speak on this. <laughs> Speak on this. I think, honestly, like I've come to a point in my life where I am so happy with myself. I have never loved myself so much that I don't settle. Like, I, I refuse to settle. And, like, nowadays, a lot of guys... Uh, I'm not saying... Okay, a lot of guys. But people in general, they want to do relationship shit. Like, let's go out. Let's date. Let's fuck. Let's make love. Let's whatever. Oh, but you're not my girlfriend, though. But you're not my girlfriend. No titles. No titles. No titles. Oh, yeah, but I'm probably going to do something else with that same girl over there. I'm going to tell you that, like, I love you. I'm going to tell you that you're the best. I'm going to tell you that I want to keep seeing you. But I'm going to tell that to that same person. Because we're not together. We're not together. What the fuck? What the fuck is that shit? So do you think that becomes with your entitlement uh, or with your reputation of social media now? Because, like, I'm saying it because, obviously, we're, we're upcoming... My IG on my main account is like thirteen hundred, but you're way past that. Yeah, I TikTok is way past that. People know you all around the world at this yeah. at this point. Yeah, do you think people just guys and girls just think like hey, a good time and move on, or how do you think people view you now? Like what what has TikTok and Instagram done to you and for you? Yeah, honestly, I think it's done the total opposite. Mm. I think that, like, I've been using the platform that I have for good. Like, I do a lot of, like, I'm all about empowerment and just, like, mental health for me is, like, priority. And, like, I'm always trying to, like, yes. like always trying to promote that. Like, always get it there. Like, I think therapists are literally, everyone should have a therapist. There's nothing you should, like, 
people think that you need to be going through something horrible yeah. to have a therapist but the whole point of having a therapist is to prevent from getting depression anxiety and all that shit yeah. right but point point is saying i think that i intimidate a lot of men like what real shit that? like real shit Wait, because like you? I think that I am very confident. I'm very, like, vocal about... Now, now, yeah. I'm, like, a completely changed woman. But I'm very vocal about, like, my wants and my needs. And, like, um, I'm somewhat successful, right? I feel like I, I have a lot to go. But I think that intimidates a lot of men. Because but, they just don't, like... But it's just, like, how we were just talking off camera. Like, the emotional mental health of a man like again how you're just saying right now i feel the same fucking way like yeah whatever you say and say about me bro that that's fine whatever you feel right what your opinion doesn't matter right i'll take in consideration okay well why are they saying that all right i'll look at what i what i do how i do it yeah at the end of the day there's only one man that can there's only one person that can judge me in this world and that's, and that's nobody here. Yeah. There's right, right, nobody right. here. But I am, it, how I, I've spoken in other podcasts and other uh, episodes. To get to that point, you got to break. And my boy also said it, like, you got to dance with the demons. Yeah. You got to go to you. war with yourself. Yeah. With yourself. And, with yourself. And he said it perfect. And with when he said it. your insecurities. I was like, bro, like, that's going to be a million dollars right there. Like, yeah. a lot of people don't want to go to war with themselves. Like, they see the luxuries. Yeah. I see your TikTok and IG and yeah. living life, but people don't know exactly what we had to go through to get to this point. Fuck yeah, dude. Like, I've been, like, even though you see, like, a lot of, like, support and, like, you see, like, love and whatever, but you also get a lot of backlash. Like, Ooh. you get a lot of hate. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? But honestly, like, I took that as, like, are you really somebody if you don't have haters? You know? Like, <laughs> that's the only way I took it. Because yeah. that's the only way, because... Honestly, people can go so low to make you feel low, like, to make you feel, like, horrible about yourself. Yeah. And, like, you have to, like, be, like, mentally okay to be able to, like, just, like, you read, because I, I try to read everything. I try to read, like, all the comments. I try to, like, be as, like, you know, like, active with my followers and stuff like that and on Instagram and on TikTok. Yeah. But should be getting, like... Like, people can be really mean. Like, really, really <laughs> mean, you know? You have to be, like, mentally prepared for that shit, so, you know? That's what, like, uh, I was telling, again, I was telling my mom the other day because I would say we argued about it. Yeah. Because we talk about, like, bro, just express your feelings. Right. Express them. And, I, and for some reason, I just buried it out. I was like, I am not ashamed of what I put out there already. I What I put out in, in YouTube and Instagram and all that platform it is there yeah people have gone through it they've seen it and if they see me differently that's on them right but again how we're just saying like i am different whatever you come at with me now know what i already went through yeah now it's different now with the person i am like that's not the same dude that was crying over i would say stupidities back then yeah. over and and i say and i i say it confidently like when you break up in high school, people think the world is ending. Like, ah, oh, she's leaving me. I'm going to kill myself. Stay yeah, with me. Yeah. People stay with each other, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But it's like, bro, now that you're older, and me and her, me and Brittany have talked about it, too. It's just like, when you have a grown relationship, you got grown problems. Yeah. You have grown problems. Yeah. It's different. For us, it's different. We have a family. We have a son. Yeah. But, uh, but even then, like, people still try to act childish. For no reason. Oh, God. Don't even get me started. Oh, yeah, but the thing is, okay. So something that I just learned, um, I've been seeing a life coach for, and it has changed my entire life ever well, since. Hold on, what? Because I, I, I actually want to become a life coach. Like that's what I'm you, working you on. You already are. Yeah, that's it. You already are. That's it. Hit me up. The, the, <laughs> the energy, again. You got to be here to feel the fucking energy. Yes. Right? And like, all right, see, it's late. We're gonna but get But we're it. here. And boom, it's just yeah. the brightness. Bro. Yeah. The brightness in yeah, your yeah, energy. Yeah. In, yeah. Your, in your soul. In your soul. Thank like, you. it is different. Thank you. But speak about your life coach. Speak about that, what you want to, like, what, why? Yeah. So, I've always, I, so, honestly, I mean this in the most humble way when I say that, like, I know that I was destined to be something big. 
like i know it like i feel it like i've always felt it and i just never knew what it was and that's the yeah. thing like i've always had such passion and like heart and like just like i the love that i have to just help others like has always been there since i was a kid but i just didn't know what to do right and this life coach came to me and she was like hey um I've been following you since TikTok and like I posted something about like me wanting to be a life coach and then she was like I'm actually a life coach um and you don't have to work with me but I'm just telling you right now like this is your sign that yes like go for it and you don't have to work with me but I'm just saying like yes and I was like oh my god like yes like I don't know what it was but I was like let's do it like I want to pick your brain like what whatever whatever and we've been working right and like one thing that I have learned about any like relationship that has changed my life is that one person will only be as deep with you as they have been with themselves right so like if you find yourself and we find ourselves so much in these types of like situations where we're giving and giving and giving yeah. so much love we're great lovers we think we're giving the world to people but it doesn't work out in the end right yeah. it's not you it's them and what they perceive love to be and what they think that they deserve yeah. right so if they don't think that they deserve this they're gonna shut you out and it has and people take it so personal right yes. and it has changed yes. my entire life when people like lash out on you i don't even take it personal no more like i understand you're going through some shit like well, we that's it oh we got three minutes three minutes i know she's like three minutes. Three minutes. but continue sorry so, um <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry no no no. you're good fuck um what was i saying i don't say something good um i was inspired but n- before like fuck to help you remember <laughs> dude like that what you're just saying right now just literally reminds me of quite a bit of people that one blame themselves for shit not working out yeah two find blame in something else like bro like yeah like, again things happen for a reason mm-hmm. and i now i truly believe in shit happens for a reason oh yeah because and i was just telling uh so I bring him up again. My assistant coach for soccer, mm-hmm. he is very spiritual, mm-hmm. very to the Bible, mm-hmm. but he understands everything, right? He he is very humble, and I'm very blessed to have him in my life because when shit happened down with me and my family and what I was going through, I, I took like probably like a week off and just stopped posting like motivation and shit like that. And he called me and was like, hey, like, Again, what the fuck? Is, like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was just like, people that inspire others are constant. Constant, yeah. No matter what. Yeah. And he was like, I see you that way. I know you have it. But you have to understand that, you know, they, he has a purpose for you. And he has a purpose for life. Right. Understand it. Yeah. You may not want to understand it, but you have to understand it. Or you may not understand it now. Yes. So will. when how you say life coach, I'm just yeah. like, dude, like this guy here, like I was just picking his brain uh, yesterday at our game before it. I was just picking his brain like, all right, how do you do this? Why do you think this way? And I was just like, bro, like, again, life coaches to me and just motivational people to me is just people that have a story, maybe not similar or exactly like yours, but went through something and it changed your life. Yeah. Help you see some because there's a lot of people that don't want to understand what the fuck you're saying. Yeah. Like what you're just saying right now, I can just be like, nah, <laughs> she's full of shit. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. Like she didn't go with what I would, but you went through your own shit. Yeah. How do you believe people? It's just like, bro, they're and, here for a reason. And I think that people choose to be that way. Like if people, if I tell this story to someone and they're like, that's bullshit, then they're fighting their own battles. They're fighting their own insecurities. Like people will only believe what they want to believe. Yeah. So if they don't want to believe that shit, that means they're going through some shit. Like that they don't want to like their own insecurities, you know? Yeah. And like I said, going back, like you can't take that shit personal. Like if you're ready to love and you're ready to give love, you can't be mad if the other person isn't. Like they're just not there yet, you know? Like, and you really can't take that personal. You cannot be mad. Yeah. Like, give love. Maybe that's what they needed and move on. And no hard feelings. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take, sh- take a little break on. <laughs> so we're drunk and we're going to stop this episode now. <laughs> no, we're, we're talking about it right now. So the transition from being, it's 
sounds harsh to say from being a nobody to somebody because of social media. Yeah. How how was that mentally and emotionally? Like, what did it do to you? So it did like both. Like it did really good things, but it also did really bad things. But I'm also really grateful for it because I learned. Like there was a point where like the fame got to me that I got famous for like shooting my shot, right? And like telling my love stories and like mm. my dating life out there, right? People just wanted to know. What People just wanted to know like yeah. what's up, what's going on, what's up with the guy, or whatever, whatever, right? And I found it easy talking about it, right? But I didn't think about like the repercussions of like talking about that person because people found every every person that I would talk about, these people were investigate. They were so dedicated to find out who they were and I have no idea how they found out who they were, but they fucking did. And they fucking like would reach out to them or like would put their at Instagram like on them on like my in my videos and shit like that so people would find out who they were right and like i (laughs) there was one specific time where i was talking to the guy a guy right things went south like shit went wrong like i was bitter i was really bitter because i felt like he ghosted me right and there was a one time where i went on live tiktok live and they were like how's your dating life right right and i was so bitter about the situation that i was i was rambling i was venting i was like this motherfucker like just i don't get why people do this he ain't even you know what he's not even all that like he ain't shit blah blah blah. trying to make my i was coming from a hurt place but i was trying to make myself feel better about the situation right it was out of character i shouldn't have done that but i me thinking that he's never going to find out about it because he doesn't even have a tiktok yeah before i met the guy that i was talking to his ex his aunt his cousin followed me. I had no idea, right? Like, no idea who, who they were. <laughs> and when they found out, like, his Instagram at was on my videos and shit like that. Like, this is him. Like, blah, 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 blah. Fucking followers communicating with each other who, to, to, find, to find out who it was. They, they're the ones who told him. And they were like, yeah, dude, she's talking mad shit about you. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, and I was like, fuck. Oh, and that, that geez, fucking man. caused me, like, just shit that I had to deal with, like, I had to confront him and I was like, yes, like it did happen. I was talking shit about you, like blah, blah, blah. I was saying that you weren't shit, like, and that's not, and it wasn't true. I was just coming from a hurt place. So like, yeah. I had to learn the hard way that like, I just, like, I can't be doing that shit no more. Like I got famous for it, but like, I just can't be doing it. Like, so you're switching it. Yeah. Like I can't, so like I need to it. keep my private life private. So you're using your platform for the the greater good yeah like now i'm like okay like now that i have this platform like i can't be doing it for just fucking cheesemas and like you know but like you're saying it's going good though yeah well i mean like my instagram like it's been going like that's what i use it for my tiktok like i have all of the followings because of the cheesemate yeah. you know and now that i've been posting things about more like mental health what self-love is and just stuff like that i get less views and less likes talk about the fucking support bro. that's what i'm saying so like people are gonna be like your ride or dies are gonna be there no matter what and like you're gonna lose all the followers and those followers you gotta accept that like they just weren't there for you like they're not there for you they're just there for like the fucking chaos yeah that's it that's it and that's what i had to learn the hard way too but i fucking love my followers though like honestly the people that have been there like like ride or die fucking love that i've met them like, I've met most of them, like, in person. No way. I For swear real? to God. I swear to God. Like, they're the ones that, like, they they always on my lives. They are dedicated. And, like, they comment on all of my fucking videos. They go on my Instagram. They become my friends. They And I'm like, yeah, of course. Like, I'm going to, like, talk to them and stuff yeah. like that. And then they want to hang out. And I'm like, I'm down. And, like, I meet them. And then they become, like, actually good friends with them. Really so, like, sure. now, like, I, yeah, I met a lot of people through TikTok. Damn. So I mean I wouldn't be here if it wasn't through TikTok, right? So yeah. I'm saying and so. Kids, it's, you fucking not know. You, uh, yeah. You wouldn't uh, yeah. definitely because we wouldn't have crossed paths that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, and again, there's a, there's a lot of uh, I would say picture printed on people that are famous in that sense. That one, they're not the way they are on TikTok. Yeah. They're not the way they are on social media. Yeah. They're not that same way. They're fake, da-da-da, mm-hmm. whatever the fucking case is. Mm-hmm. But that's not true. It's not. 
whatever I've, they get on there, they get on yep, the person. Yeah. So if they want full energy there, they get and they're getting <laughs> it. They're getting it. Yeah. And I think that like ever since that, like if once all of that like hit, like that whole like the fame or whatever. Yeah. Um. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> once fame hit, what happened? Fuck! I had I had a point. <laughs> But I forgot where I was going with it. Too Fuck. many uh, thoughts coming through. Too many that's, thoughts. That's way fine. too many. Really? I just, my mind too just goes way maybe too fast. That is too. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so, before, since you have trouble, growing up. Right. Growing up, your parents, did, did that just shape you who you are? Is there certain things? Is there certain like what is it? Like what it why are you you now? Why are you you? I think I am me because I choose to be me. Like I chose to change. Like I chose to become a better person. Like I was the one that went out and like you know what? Like I know there's more to life than what it is right now. So what is it you we spoke about it like you had help. Yeah. What would you tell women and men that don't want to seek help because it's diminishing it is yeah i honestly hate the like stigma that there is about like getting help or like just talking to a therapist or something like that because people legit think that you have to be like depressed or like something has to be so wrong with you to be able to get a therapist like the whole point of having a therapist is to prevent all of that shit from happening is to prevent from being depressed prevent anxiety prevent whatever because shit happens every fucking day but we don't know how to handle shit you know and like we don't want to talk to other people because we know that they're having their own battles you know we're fucking paying these fucking people to listen to our shit like why wouldn't you want that and like give us advice on how to do that and how to handle things properly you know like why wouldn't you want that you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I, I ever know. since I've had my life coach, which is pretty much a therapist, it has changed me. Yeah. Like everything that I has has happened, I I pay her weekly. Like I see her weekly because like I'm like I want to see you weekly because shit happens every fucking day, yeah. and sometimes I don't know how to handle. There, there, it literally happens every single. Time. Yeah, like, emotions run through you every yes. fucking day, no matter what yes. happens. Yes, like, and no we don't have what. all the answers. Yeah, you know, and like that's why we need people. You can be as independent as you want, but at the end of the day, like you need people. You need like you need people to be successful. You can never yeah. get anywhere without other people. Same thing with the therapist. Like you're gonna need someone to talk to. So, what's your purpose of being a life coach? Like again. We're going to post this, and this is, like, your followers will see it. But what is your purpose of being a life coach? Why do you want to do that? Honestly, I think it's because of, like, where I was before. That, like, I just felt so, like, stuck and, like, stagnant. And, like, I like I was always, like, like in, my, in the back of my head, like, I know there's more to life. Like, I know there's more to life like than what it is right now. But coming from like a very traditional home like it was always very like you have to do this you have to do this you have to do this to be successful yeah. you have to go to school you have to go to college you have to have a, a like i'm like and i know and i knew always knew there's more to life there's more than this there's more than this yeah but no one ever told me how to do it no one ever tells you like no one how the blueprint yeah and like no one tells you like you should be happy like no 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 no, no. they tell you how to live it because that's what they want you to see. Like, yeah. my parents, as parents, like, no, a success is if you go to college, if you get a, a degree, and if you go to that, like, a good school, and if you get a job, and like, that's, you're going to be happy once you do that. And, like, you're thinking, because those are your parents. Like, yeah. they're they're looking out for you. That's what you think well, you should. Well, that's ideal, right? right? That's ideal for go to school, mm-hmm. get a degree, mm-hmm. get paid. Yeah. That is not the And way. have a family, and, like, you have, mm-hmm. a, you have a good life. And that is not the... Uh, I say it because, again, I have, I went through it. Mm-hmm. That is not the case. Yeah. You go to school, and if you get a degree, you yeah. have to have a plan, right? Yeah. You There has to be a plan. Right. Because if not, you just waste the time. Right. And, and time afraid. is very valuable. Yes. That we will never I, get back. Yes. Never. That's what I, you literally take the words. Like, yeah. that is literally what it is. Like, yeah. What did, I told somebody today, like, bro, think about it. We go through every fucking day. 
you you're awake what from say 7 a.m to like 12, 12 hours 12 1 a.m yeah what do you do in that out like, right in that time frame right if you regret who you are at the end of the day it's up to like, you bro, like fucking change it yeah ah, bro but they make the people make excuses why mm-hmm. they cannot do it mm-hmm. to make themselves feel good about yeah. the situation about them not doing anything so did you lose or gain people when you became big? both Ooh. both so i mean you have to make room for the new right you have to like get rid of the old to make rid of make room for the new yeah, right yeah. and for the good new for the people that are gonna be there that like once you start changing like you're gonna lose people but yeah. you're also gonna gain people and those are the right people you know um but going back to like why i want to be a life coach honestly like my growing up as a woman as a gay speak on this mexican shit. woman speak on this. minority 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 everything i just and just being like speaking as a woman when you are just born as a woman you're you already have stacks against you like yeah. that's it like you like that's it right you're behind the line like, yeah that's it like yeah. a man is always gonna be like above you like always right yeah and being like Mexican, like being gay, like, oh, you have all these people before you, you know what I mean? And like, I've always questioned everything growing up, like my religion. Why, why can't I have sex before? Why do I have to be a virgin? But why can't the man be a virgin? Like the man doesn't give a fuck. Why do I have to wear a long skirt and the man does can, can wear whatever the fuck they want? Yeah. Why do like, I have to like, why do I have to cover up everything when my uncles come around? Why can't they just fucking not be perps? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I've always questioned that shit. Like, I've always questioned my mom, like, why? 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 Yeah. And my parents were just, because that's how it is. Because that's just how it is. Fuck that. No, fuck that. I want an answer, right? And so, like, literally just growing up and, like, now that I am where I am and, like, I know that me questioning was never wrong. Like, I, there were legit questions, you yeah. know? And, like, the people couldn't give to me. That's why I want to be a life coach. Because I know there's so many minority women out there that have the exact same problem that I did. And I want to get, like, you are not wrong for thinking that. You are not wrong for questioning what you're questioning right now. Like, you are right. Your intuition is right. And I want to tell them, like, there's more women like that, like you. Like, you're not alone. And that's why I want to become a life coach. Like, I want to reach people like that. You know, like you're not alone. You have a fucking purpose. Exactly. Like I have a fucking purpose. You know. That, that is, I think, what you're saying right now, what you're doing right now, proves literally my fucking point to this whole podcast, bro. Because we see somebody like you, right? That we're just like, dude, she's just IG, TikTok, airhead. Nah, she's <laughs> fucking powerful. Yeah. Powerful in her own fucking way that to. To move you, if you literally listen to who she is and who what she does, like you'll be moved. Yeah. And that and that comes into effect with when you go in life, like who you interact with moves you in that way. Right. Who you have around you. Right. Because like I said, you are who you attract. Right. What did you say out out of camera? What there did was, I say? There was a um, uh, motivational speaker that said something. Bring me what? Bring me five people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to a. Um, uh, motiv- I, just, I don't want. It. I yeah, yeah, yeah. No, friends. and he was like, um, "Bring me f- just five of your friends, five of your most closest friends." And I already, without even knowing you, I already know the type of person that you are. And I and I was sitting there in a seminar, and I was like, "Fuck!" And I was counting my friends, and I was like. I don't want to be associated with like with that, you know. And I had to think. I was like, "They're my friends. Like, I yeah. get it. But like, I don't want to be there. Like, I don't want to be associated with what they're associated with. Like, that's what I knew I had to change. Like, your friends are gonna be there. Like, whatever. Like, you love them or whatever. But like, if you stick with the people that literally just do the same shit all the time and don't are not ambitious, as much as you want to say that your friends don't inspire, like, influence you, they fucking do. Yeah. They do. If you. Sure. If the conversation is different when you sing around with winners and you know that yeah and, right you're, you're you're finding out the next the next big thing yeah and even, get even, uncomfortable yeah you get make, uncomfortable be uncomfortable yeah be comfortable, comfortable with the uncomfortable oh. you know <laughs> sit around the people that intimidate yes. you you know yes. that are bigger that that's where you want to be yeah be, you know literally like i i literally i say and i speak on it like bro we might be the same, but let's talk about the bigger. 
Let's yeah. talk about the next step. Yeah. Let's talk about what we can do. And if we don't know it, let's go fucking look for it. Right. Let's go find somebody. Let's yeah. go do something about it. Because right. if we sit here and complain about our fucking job every single fucking day, every single day. You're not I doing anything it. about I'm it? Boss, I hate this. I hate this. How long have you been there? Three years. That's your own fault. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've also heard this. Like, it, like it's not your fault if you're born poor, but it is your fault if you die poor. Like, you have every fucking resource that everybody else has. And if you die poor, that's on you. Yeah. But if, you, if you're if you born poor, okay, that's not you. That, whatever. That's just whatever. So you're using your platform now. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm using the shit that... I th- I honestly think that it's not a coincidence. Like, all of this happened for a reason. Like, I was meant for this. You spoke it. Yeah. You like, I was that. meant for this. Like, I always knew that I was meant for something big. So you lo- did... Bringing it up, like, did you lose people on, along the way? Or game like what is that because again we, we talk about like when people use you like yeah if i knew you from then and i had no interest of really being your friend but we've talked here and there and now you're somebody like bro like where can we go yeah like yeah can, what, what can i get what can yeah. i get from you yeah oh yeah yeah I, I i've had like friends that like hit me up when like i went viral and was like oh my god like i can't believe this is you blah blah blah, blah. and i'm like yeah no that's me oh my god we should so catch up and i'm like bitch shut the fuck <laughs> up like <laughs> but you also start realizing that too like i'm glad that it happened because like then you start realizing who your real friends are you yeah. know and like you just start seeing things shit, like just things different what is how you just said earlier like those friends just are just family yeah yeah i mean like i said that you can't choose your family but you choose like who you want to be around and who you Mm -hmm. like you know who your friends are yeah because if you don't choose who you want to be around you're just a puppet to to whoever Whoever else yeah Yeah, because you really have a choice on who you got to be around with yeah i'm with this fool because i grew up with them you don't need to be you really don't you You have no obligation on to them at all at all like if you're out here growing and if you're like because you outgrow people like as much as you love them like you outgrow them it's and like life. you can't be life sorry for that grows. Like, yeah. life goes on exactly you you gotta grow up and if you don't grow up well you're wasting fucking time mm-hmm. because again i heard it um i brought it up last week but i heard it in the in the mayweather documentary and it says if you don't grow in a day in a week in a month in a year you wasted fucking time. Yeah, dude. You time is valuable, time. man. That's the one thing we will never get back. And time is, I mean, like, we have such a short life. Like, we really think it's so long, but it's so short. Yeah. By the time, like, we're going to be, like, we're, we're adulting already. Like We're adults. Yeah, yeah. like, we're adults. <laughs> like, I never thought I would, like... You know, and I never thought I would ever be here. By 25, I thought I was going to have a house. I thought I was going to have a career. I thought I was going to have, like, you know, a, a, a married. I was going to have kids by 25. I got none of those. None of it. None of it. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> but you know what? I am the happiest that I have ever been in my life without having... I am the... Like, financially, like, I lost my job and stuff like that. I lost almost everything for the pandemic but as much as like i have nothing i i am the most content that i have ever been minimalism changed my life i swear to god i swear to god because i told you gratitude is the world's multiplier if you're grateful for the little things that you have the little things that you've never needed in your life the world is like okay you you you're gratitude for you're you're grateful for the little things here's more Here's more. And that's what's been happening to me. Yeah. It, I'm very... My girlfriend can talk about it. I've never... I, since I met her, I wasn't that religious. Yeah. I wasn't. Yeah. Because shit that happened, um, I stopped. Right. And it wasn't until how my boy said it last week. I had to go to war with my demons. Right. I had to fight them. Yeah. And finding that, I found... You know, I found my way back. And it's literally that, like... Bro, like, there's certain things that, one, you can't control, and then the others you cannot. Mm-hmm. But what we have is you got to be grateful. Because I, I got into that point where it's like, all right, we got everything. We moved out. We have this. We got mm-hmm. that. Yeah. I am still missing something. And it was hurtful. It was dreadful. It was like day after day, it was just 
deteriorating. Yeah. Got in contact. I went in contact. I went to war. And it's like, bro, the this, what we got now is, this is it. This is good. Yeah. And, and I think so, people, so many people are scared to, like, face their own demons. Like, because that's scary. Yeah. That's the most scariest and part. And people like, talk down on others because right. they're still fighting their own. Right. Exactly. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, going back to, like, think, don't take things personal when people lash out on you. It's literally them. You yeah. are a mirror to everybody. If you judge somebody for a certain thing, that means that's what you are insecure about. So if someone lashes out on you for saying like, oh, you're too loud or you're whatever, they're probably insecure about not being vocal enough or like that's an insecurity that they have. So don't take things personal. Like if they fucking do shit to you, fuck it. Like they're battling, they're doing their own battles and they're just taking it out on you. That's mm-hmm. literally it. Once you start thinking that, like you won't take things personal, you'll live a fucking happy life. For, for, your, for the people watching, for the people just like, Follow you, follow us now. You've been this the whole way? How? Like your journey? You've been this? No, hell no. Hell no. I I sense you and we hear like, you're fucking powerful, bro. Yeah. You are powerful. Yeah. And that is crazy because it's just like, I feel like nothing I can tell you can just bring you that, bring you down because your energy is just that powerful. Like, yeah. For the people that are watching, that be like, bro, how did she get there? She's always been that way. She's, yeah. She is that way. Yeah. I mean, you can never feel inferior unless you let people make you feel inferior. And it all comes with confidence, honestly. Like, yeah. being confident in who you are and, like, what you bring to the table. And, like, just, like, knowing at the end of the day that, like, you... So, you know how I told you that, like, I was, I always struggled to, like, show emotion, like, being vulnerable because I thought that was a weakness? Yeah. Now I know that's a strength. Like, being vulnerable and just showing, like, all my whole self to, like, literally all of social media. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it, it's scary. It's yeah. really scary. But at the end of the day, I know that I got myself no matter what the repercussions are. And that's, like, once you have that in any relationship or whatever, like, you give yourself. And even if it doesn't work out, like, you know at the end of the day, you got yourself. Because, like, you know yourself. Like, you love yourself. At the end of the day, you got yourself. Because no matter what happens, you got yourself at the end of the day. You know? Because if you don't love yourself and you don't got yourself, who will? Yeah. You know? Like, love starts with you. Jeez. With you. And yeah. then you can be giving out to other people. You know what I mean? Fuck. Hey! God, damn. <laughs> My job. <laughs> my drop on that one you know, know? I mean? that yeah that so that that's like the whole point of this whole thing like people to find that in themselves find mm-hmm. the self-love yeah find that being vulnerable isn't a weakness it, it's, a, it's literally a strength because people do not want to be vulnerable because they're scared and it's like bro like what, what's wrong yeah. oh this is this yeah accept it Romy. yeah accept it and yeah. let's move on from it it's scary yeah it's oh, scary to get there it, it it's is. very scary to be vulnerable it's very scary to put your emotions and your feelings out there because there's always going to be a 50 50 chance you're going to get hurt but your yeah. your your life is out there it is out there yeah, all it of it is out there. everything all of it all of it all so of it i think the important question is like do you regret it now fuck no hell no hell no i think like this is all aligned for something and like people needed to hear my story and like know that like this is me and like i'm not perfect and i even said it out loud too like after that whole thing that happened like that i like you know lashed out on that one guy like i even apologized i was like i'm not perfect like i make mistakes like but this is me like taking full responsibility as everyone else should when you fuck up take full responsibility like don't be embarrassed like that you fucked up like take act like you did it like it's you you go out there you say sorry and then that that opens up like a door for other people to be as vulnerable too yeah. Like, if you're vulnerable, like, and you say sorry, the other person's going to want to do the same thing because yeah. you feel comfortable it's, doing that. Again, it's because when we're humans. Yeah, we We're make not mistakes. always on fucking camera. We're not always on this. Like, we got our lives outside of all this. Yeah. It's like, when they meet you, are you the same motherfucker? Are you the same person? Yeah. Or are you different? Yeah. Nope. The same way you got me here, the same way you got me in person. Exactly. And I'll give you the same respect you give me. And yeah. I'll give you the same uh, energy you give me. But, yeah. But listen. If you choose not to, go ahead, bro. Move on. Yeah. Because I mean, we're, we're I feel not like, for everybody. 
Yeah, and I feel like it's harder to be like two personas. Like you have to be like one person and like and behind the camera, and then another person on their life. It's harder. Like just be yourself. That's you know, harder. like this. Yeah, like, people are gonna like you or love, like hate you no matter what. So just be yourself. Enough, it's tiring enough being one person. Yeah. Imagine being and two, two and like living two lives. Fuck that. You know, like just be yourself. People are gonna hate you or love you no matter what. No matter what. Like so, just be yourself. You're always gonna have haters. You're always gonna have lovers. So just be yourself. You know. He fucking shot some gems at us today. See what I'm saying? This is gonna be fuck. You know what? We're gonna bring the Casa Amigos on this one. <laughs> fuck that. We did another shot. You want your mezcal? Huh? Do you want your mezcal or do you want this one? Let's let's try that one. Let's try, I haven't tried that one. Dude. I tried that one. You you took the show. This is it. This is like if for the people that have watched this far. They they have to take notes in everything you just said today because oh, what? Get a, get a YouTube channel. Dude, yeah. and it's if, crazy to think that I've gotten here. Her, you better spam her messages and say start your YouTube channels. We need to follow what you do because you're no, again. This is for any anybody watching at this point. Yeah. This is our first time meeting, and the energy you have is just, bro. It just blows my mind. Aww, it thank blows you. my mind. Thank like, you. You coming into our home and yeah. everything. Is and just, thank you for that. Yeah, bro. It. At midnight. This is midnight. yeah. This is yeah. It, we're at one a.m. This is gonna post on Friday at nine a.m. The energy is just like if it's ready right day. Thank you. So. Thank you. This we're is gonna, me. We're, we're gonna sign. We're gonna sign up for the, your life coach. And yeah. I'm sure, <laughs> Again, because I because there's since we started the women edition, yeah, and even like the young girls that that followed the podcast, mm-hmm. like they're just finding the answer to what they're going through. Yeah, and I think what you just did today is probably just going to give them that answer. Mm-hmm. And I, and, I and hope that's it literally does. all I've ever wanted. And I hope it does because yeah. we we all feel and we always want that find the answer to what we're going through. Right, that's all we do. Like uh, like. Us as humans, all we ever want to feel is connected to people, or like to has have a connection, or like, you know, like when you go when you go to like a comedian show or whatever, and like they're like, oh, like uh, people from Pasadena, and we were like, everyone's like, wow, people just want to be connected to something, like they yeah. want to feel like a sense of community, and when people like that are going through things, they feel alone. And that's why I want to become a life coach. I'm like, I swear to God, like, there's so many people out there that are going through the exact same thing. And I want to be like that, like, you know, like that medium, like, you're going through that same thing. You're going through that same. Let's collab. Let's cut. Let's let's come together. Let's help each other out. You know, well, this is how you just said. And we'll end it on this one. Like, we have a greater purpose. We do. Than what we ever knew in our life. Yeah. And. Shit, we're just getting started. That's right. We're That's just right. Getting fucking started. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and we're so young. <laughs> we are so young. We have so much more life. Can yeah. you imagine what we're gonna do for the rest of our lives? You know. The sky's the fucking. Limit. The sky's the fucking limit. What did also say last week? He was like, "Have you watched the, the Notorious movie?" Mm, Notorious. The movie new movie? one on Netflix, Netflix, or like uh, the, yeah, the old it's one? Yeah, on Netflix now. But Notorious B.I.G., there's one where he's with uh, Puff Daddy at that point. Uh-huh. And it says, you can't change the world unless you change yourself. That's true. And that's true. It all starts with you. If you want to see change, it has to start with you. We're going to toast to life. We're going to toast to fucking... Before I start crying on camera. <laughs> Cheers. Dude, thank you. Here it is. Oh, there we go. See you next time. Oh, Jesus. See you next time on... What is it called? What is it called? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it? What is, what is that? What a is Toast that? to Life. No, no, oh, but like, what is, the, what is the show called? What is the... A Toast to Life. Oh, a Toast yes. to Life. <laughs> toast to Life. She's fired. Delete the video. <laughs> We're gone. Throw the fucking... <laughs>